So in this video, we're going to learn about our second type of sequences, which are geometric sequence. We already did arithmetic, which is adding a common difference. Um, so your objective is that you can state whether a sequence is geometric, and you can write the explicit rule for a geometric sequence. So just like with the arithmetic um, sequences, you have an explicit rule, and you're going to have a recursive rule, and the recursive rule we're going to do in the next video. So geometric sequence is a sequence where each term changes as the constant multiple or a constant rate. So if you look at these, in the last one we added, so to change at a constant rate, you are multiplying. So on this one, my rate is 2. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20, and so forth. On this one, notice each one, it's going down, gets cut in half, so my rate's a half. But also notice that the sign changes. Well, 12 divided by what is negative 6, so it's negative 1 half. So non-examples would be arithmetic sequence where they're going up by 2. This is adding 2. And then this one looks like it could be 1, but this is times 5 times 5. But however here, this is not the same rate because the next term, if you kept the same one, should have been 125. All right, so we're going to practice writing the first four terms in the sequence, and this is your explicit rule. So again, the way you just do it is you just plug in 1, 2, 3, 4 in for n. So to find a sub 1, so n is 1, so you're going to have 6 times 2 to the first power. Order operations, do the exponents first. So we go 2 to the first, which is 2. 2 times 6 is 12. And then we find a sub 2. So we go 6 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. We go a sub 3. All right, so we have 6. And okay, now we're doing 2 cubed, which is 8. 8 times 4, or 8 times 6 is 48. And now we do a sub 4, which is 6, 2, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 4th is 16, 16 times 6 is 96. Alright, these are your first four terms in the sequence. Alright, so on this one, if I want to find the first four terms, I find a sub 1, so I have 256. 1 half to the first power. So 1 half to the first power is 1 half of 256 is 128. And then a sub 2, same thing. Get 256. 1 half squared. All right. So 1 half squared, we square both 1 and 2, so that's 1 fourth, or you could just use your calculator, and a fourth of 256 is 64. And you probably can see the pattern already if you're right. If you're looking closely. So alright, so 256 to the 1 half to the third. Well, one half to the third is one eighth. One eighth at two fifty six is thirty two. And then for your last one, you go a sub four, plug in four, two fifty six, one half to the fourth, which is one sixteenth, and that gives you sixteen. So here's your first four terms of the sequence. All right, so how do you write the explicit rule for um, the geometric sequence? So again, this is what you need to know. It has a lot of the same things as when we did the arithmetic, but it um, is arranged differently. Um, so it's a common rate. So on this one, we have an exponent. That is where n is. Our zero term, the one before the first term, is out here, and then a sub n. So the things you need to find are first um, your rate. 
So what do you multiply each time? Well, 7 times what is 21? That's 3. 21 times what is 63? That's 3. So my common rate is 3. So that's my R. Then I need a sub 0. So what would come before this? Well, here, to go this way, we multiply. The opposite of multiplying would be dividing. So 7 divided by 3 is 7 thirds, or it would be 2 and a third, or 2.3 repeating, however you want to write it. So you could have this. All right, so let's write a rule. So you have a sub n, and we plug in a sub 0, which is 7 thirds, or however you want to write it as a decimal, that's fine. Parentheses what our rate is, which is 3, and then to the n power. Alright, so on this one we're looking at our common difference. So how do you go from 15 to negative 5? Well, you have to, you're not multiplying by 3, you're dividing by 3. Negative 5 divided by what is 5 thirds? That's still negative 3. So my common rate is negative 3. Then, I need to find my a sub 0 term, because this is a sub 1. So 15, we're going to, instead of dividing by 3, we're going to multiply by negative 3. 15 divided by negative 3 is negative 45. So writing your rule, you have a sub n equals negative 45, your 0 term, parentheses. We're dividing by negative 3. Um, so this brings up an interesting conversation. So what do you do to divide by negative 3 because it's multiplying? Well, dividing by negative 3 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 third. So anytime you're dividing, you got to write it as a fraction. So it's negative 1 third. So if you're dividing by 5, that's the same thing as multiplying by 1 fifth. That's very important to understand that. All right. So there is your explicit rule. All right, so we need to write the explicit rule for the n term of the geometric sequence. So we have our r, so all we need is a sub 0. So a sub 1 is negative 6. So we have negative 6. If I want to go this way, I'm going to times by 6, so that's negative 36. So we times by 6 to go this way. To go the other way, we're going to divide by 6. Well, dividing negative 6 divided by 6 is negative 1. Alright, so writing my rule, we have a sub n equals my first, my a sub 0 term, which is negative 1, my rate, which is 6, to the n power. Alright, so on b, we have a sub 2 and a sub 5. So we need to figure out how to go between the two. Alright, um, we are actually going to skip these examples, but do know how to do example A. Alright, so review a geometric sequence has a constant multiple or a rate, and this is how you figure out the explicit rule for it. Reminder to do reflection so you get credit for watching this video.